In a fit of uncontrolled anger, Calabac began to fire blindly at Firestorm with his Beta Club. Firestorm was able to dodge the blasts, but he knew that sooner or later, Calabac would hit him. Realizing that Firestorm needed help now, Green Arrow came up with a plan. He's got a distractor, and a flare arrow ought to do the trick. As the flare arrow exploded, a blinding light lit the dark arena. Calabac cried out. I, that light, it's blinding me, can't see. Where are you, Firestorm? Here I am, Calabac, called Firestorm. And if you really want to zap me, just follow the sound of my voice. With lightning speed, Firestorm quickly ducked behind Mantis, whose powerful claws were still draining the power from Superman. Firestorm called out to Calabac. Yoo-hoo! Here I am, Calabac! Fire away! Calabac, still blinded by the flash of light, fired his beta club in the direction of Firestorm's voice. The ray hit Mantis squarely in the chest. Mantis let go of Superman and staggered back in pain, crying out, Oh, Calabac, you fool! What are you doing? Angered by Calabac's incompetence, Mantis retaliated with a blast of his own. Before long, the two villains were locked in mortal combat with each other. Mantis screamed, Calabac, you swine! All of Superman's power could have been mine, but you ruined it! As he watched this battle from high above the arena, Darkseid felt his anger growing inside him. Finally, he could stay silent no longer. You know, I can stand to watch no more. My faithful minions battle among themselves. It is too much to bear. Then, turning his attention to the superpowers team, Darkseid continued. Yes, heroes of Earth, I stand before you now to do what all my worthless minions could not hope to accomplish. Within me rests the greatest weapon of all, the dreaded Omega Effect. With a mere blink of my eyes, it will encircle you all and transport you to a nether dimension from which there can be no escape. From out of Darkseid's eyes sprang the powerful Omega Beam. The beam struck the heroes, who were still groggy and weak from their earlier attack. Now, with the incredible power of Darkseid's ray added to their grogginess and weakness, the superpowers team looked as if they were finally doomed. Suddenly, with a burst of energy, Batman leaped in front of the other heroes and in the same motion pulled a simple hand mirror from his utility box. Batman held the mirror so that it caught the Omega Beam and bounced it right back into Darkseid's eyes. Darkseid cried out, No! The Omega Beam attacking me! But that's impossible! I control the beam! I direct its course! But even I am vulnerable to its dreaded effects! And now I'm vanishing! Heroes of Earth, you may have won this battle, but one day I'll destroy you all for this. So swears Darkseid. The superpowers team watched in silent amazement as Darkseid, their most formidable enemy, slowly faded into nothingness. Hawkman broke the silence by asking, But now that he's gone, how are we going to get home? Superman knelt down and picked up the Stargate generator that Darkseid had dropped when he vanished. Holding it up, he said, Here it is, friends. Our ticket out of here. Superman turned on the Stargate, which would transport them all back to Earth. 
And as the heroes took their leave of the dark, foreboding world of Apocalypse, the threat of dark side was over for now. But deep inside, they all knew that one day, the Lord of Evil would return. And on that day, the Superpowers team would face their greatest challenge.